we're going to be making our abacus. So to begin, you're going to start with the base of the abacus. Um, there are going to be pieces that need to come off, so this is one of them. So this just tears off. And you can set this aside. Then you're going to want to flip this over and you're going to be able to see the score lines here. So we're going to fold along all the score lines first. This is just going to make folding the actual project a lot easier once we start getting into the folds. And as you can see on these pieces there are double score lines so you're going to want to make sure that you get those and to get them really uh, folded properly it's nice to just press it down on the table and pinch it down. That way you'll end up with a nice edge. So you should have all your score lines done. The next step, I already went ahead and did this, but you can string on 49 beads onto your strand of cord. The best thing to do is to tie a double knot at the end of the cord and then string your beads on. And then just to make sure that they don't all fall off on you, I just tie a loose knot at the end, the other end of the cord and you can just set this aside for now. But there's there should be 49 beads on that strand. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the pieces together. So start by folding one of the sides. You're gonna start the tab, you're gonna push that up. You can start uh, with this side too and fold that up. This is gonna fold up. I'll bring this around so you can see. You're going to fold these down, and these are going to slip into the tabs that are available there. You can leave this piece up for now, and you're just going to repeat that step on the other side. So fold in, and then fold the sides up, and push that in place so it'll look like this. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your separator piece. Now there's score lines on the side of this, so you're going to want to score that tab and fold that down there too. So it should look like this. This becomes the separator inside your abacus. Now you can slide this in either way. You can slide it in. There's two parts here. You can slide it in here or you can slide it in this way. It, it really doesn't matter all that much. But it just makes it easier to slide in one way or the other. So I'm actually going to slide it in this way. And then you're going to just fold these two tabs down and that helps lock it into place. The next step, we're going to start creating the beads with the cord. So you're going to take your cord and you should have two beads up at the top and five beads down at the bottom. So you're going to slide your double knotted end of cord into the first slit that is in the abacus. And you can just work it down into the abacus. So all I did was take the cord with the double ended knot and I slid this down into the first slot. Then you're going to want to take two beads, capture those in this small part here, and again slide the cord down into the slit that's there. Then you're going to need five beads at the bottom part here. You're going to slide this down into that and the slot on the other end. Then you're going to take this piece of cord, slide it over, and you're going to push it down into the other slit that's right next to it and just pull it so it's nice and tight against the edge here. Again, you're going to do five beads. slide it down, and then you're just going to repeat this two beads, five beads, two beads, five beads, all the way until you're, you've completed that. Okay. 
This is just basically a simple weaving process. And if you mess up, again, it's very easy. You can always just pull these out and start over. That knot at the end of the cord is important though because if you do this, you're gonna lose all your beads and you'll have to restring. Okay, now we're on our last um, strand here, so you're almost done. And again, you should have two beads, and then five beads at the end here. And you're going to make sure that's nice and tight, so all, all the pieces of cord should be nice and tight for you so the beads can move around. Then. Your last step is that you're just going to tie a knot. You can tie a double knot at the end here just to make sure that the beads and cord don't slip out. And you can tie it nice and tight against the abacus. And then you're just going to cut off any excess remaining cord. And there's your completed abacus. For more information about this product or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.guildcraftinc.com.